seems a bit better, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh this... wow. This is seriously how this mod works. Oh. oh, what the hell? Oh shit, that's how it works? Yeah. That's how it works. Whoa, look at this prediction for me, dude. <laughs> Fucking gonna kick you in the motherfucker dick in your face. Yeah, that's right, you're gonna take it. You're gonna take it. Hope you like this. <laughs> this is potential. Does in a sense. Yeah, in but the sense that the not. word potential is. Okay, you know what? Stop it. <laughs> like, every fucking time I say anything, it's like, it does, but then it doesn't. Or, <laughs> yes, it is. Or is but it? It also isn't. Like, fuck you. That's it not commentary. That's just saying the same shit over and over again. <laughs> to some people, that might be true. But to others. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> You know, Martin Luther King said, We all dream. <laughs> but do we really dream? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. You moved up on this list of like scumbags pretty fucking high there, man. Like, that was a that was like a almost a, a twelve in the uh, in the scumbag range. You can figure cool. out where it goes to. It, it, it goes anywhere from 1 to 12, give or take, 2. Alright, I'm looking at the prediction right now. It looks really sexual. Does it? Yeah, I'm about to put both of my legs up over your shoulders and sandwich you between my legs and my chest. Sounds like some kind night, of marmalade huh? sandwich. I'm getting flashbacks last night, dude. That's good. Very good. Oh, whoa, what? I hit you so hard, my leg came off. That's good. I, th I think I might have helped. With what? Your concrete fucking skull? Or my leg kicking your shoulder. No, my leg came off, though. Look at that. Adding to the momentum. No, that's bullshit. You're bullshit. Cock. Taste my dick. Do this, and I'll do this, and then that. Oh yeah. You know this is really weird. This what the? Why well, am I getting torn apart so much here? Because I'm a genius. <laughs> Fuck you with your fucking codec, man. This is snake. Oh god. I'm right there. That was weird, some dude named Snake came by and like took my phone from me. You restarted the game. Alright, let's go. Mm. Yes, yeah, do this again. Okay, we're in round two. This time I'm gonna kill you with my amazing kicks. Now see how I started to swing around last time, that was really weird. Oh, there you go. Oh god! Look at my arm! Oh my god! Look at my right arm. Ow. That is horrible. What are you doing? Are you thrusting up to me? Yeah. You sick bastard. Oh, mm. <laughs> oh I'm gonna butterfly you. Oh my god! Oh, uh, yes. Does butterflying involve ripping my head off? With my thighs. Okay. Guess that's how they do it there. It's not how it works here, but okay. I thought... Oh, wow. Okay. Never mind. Well, you're in two pieces, so... Yeah, like, but... You, you, can do it, you can do it that way, you will. Well, I guess I, uh, I've given up on trying to do that to you. I'll learn you. Guess I'll learn you. 
If you ain't gonna turn yourself in. You're gonna win though, because my head's gonna hit the ground here. This bullshit! No! Like Mike Tyson, a bite off your ear. Why are you still making moves? Like, what's, what's the point here? Oh! Um. You want to grab more off, apparently. It gives me a sense of pride. Well, oh, never mind. Apparently, Your head's gonna to touch the ground. Oh, yeah, it does. That was so fucking random there. I'm not gonna spin around this time, I'm just gonna try and kiss you. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Like a rock, baby. I don't even know who fucking originally came up with that song at this point. Jesus. I've heard so many different versions of it. I heard a metal version recently. You should extend both your pecs and extend your neck. No. Yeah, because I want to kiss you. No. I didn't do that shit intentionally. Just to diss you. So fucking kiss me! I'm gonna knee you in the balls because you're molesting me. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> wow. I gave you some momentum there, didn't it? No. Holy shit. Oh, I'm gonna pull back. Oh, this is awesome. Do I still have my legs? I don't know. I'm still hearing music over your mic, though. Since when? Like, this entire time I've been hearing, like, some random guitar-type music in the background. God, I've got a foot cramp. I might want to fix that. That could be very bad for you in the future. Oh, you develop this... into into gout. I thought that was a name. What kind of name is gout? What kind of name is Herb? I don't know. I think it's short for Herbert. What kind of fucking name is Miley? Well, there you, there you go. You've gone upset all the Miley's that watch this. I don't get it. A mile is a measurement of distance. It's not a name. Hey, what kind of name is, is Cameron, huh? A cam is short for camera. Yeah, but my name's not Cam. It's got a whole other second section to it. Yeah, like Miley camera, is just mile with a Y. Yeah, well, you got, you've, got, you've got camera, then N at the end. Cameron. On. A Cameron. No, because there's no way. A Cameron. Cam. I'll tell you what, I will let you win if you can come up with a single word that rhymes with orange. Door hinge? Wow. I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> but can you come up with another one? <laughs> what the fuck did you just do to yourself? I, I twisted. So much for letting me win, Don't I'm change gonna win the regardless. Subject. Don't change the subject. I'm gonna win regardless, though. Well, no, because I just let you win because you came up with the rhyme for orange. I wanna hear a different one, though. Stonehenge? Nah, that doesn't work. Alright. The answer is four inch. Ah! My foot! I went- I had too much momentum. My foot came off. Have you ever tried orange porridge? Oh, porridge rhymes with orange. Yeah. Not really. It's a parrot rhyme. I believe the word is parallax. No, that refers to like... How the further things are away, the less they seem to move when you look at them from a different angle. I think it's a parable, actually. No, that's uh, a story or a conundrum. No, that's a paradox. Or, yeah, a paradox is a conundrum. A parable is like a story. No, I think you're thinking of... Mike Tyson. That's a man. No, but like, what man? That's like not laying on me down at all, dude. That's a man who likes to bite the ears off of people. I believe you're thinking of... Prime Minister Tony Blair. He's dead. Well, yeah. For biting the ear off of someone. He Just like MT. And... Oh. Oh, Mark Thatch. Oh, right. The, uh... The Iron Woman. That Not so iron anymore, huh? But yeah, now she's no more made of iron. 
It's more like she's made of copper. Oh, I don't get it. <laughs> because copper is the inferior metal. You could have said gold, except gold's like super valuable. Okay, okay I guess. I still feel you like could have also things. said mercury because she's probably like been liquefied by now. Oh, well, that's kind of uh, it's going in a dark direction though. Would you like to be crucified or buried alive? I mean, buried when you're older. I mean, wait. What? Cremated or buried? How, I don't know why I was thinking of How did you get crucif to crucify over cremated? They're similar sounding words, okay? Yes, yes, it's very similar. Crucify and cremate. Well, they both have the crust sound. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't mention egg and crust sandwich in the same sentence there. <laughs> no, because that's not a, like a... Something related to dying. Would you like to be nailed to a cross, burned alive, or have to eat an egg and crust sandwich? <laughs> I'll go with option three, please. <laughs> no, but seriously, given the choice, imagine if no, actually, how about this? Say you you were dead, but you weren't really dead. You died, but you were still conscious within your empty vessel of a body, but you couldn't move or interact with anyone in any way, and everyone assumed you were dead. Given the choice, would you rather be cremated or buried? I want to be stuffed. You would want to be stuffed and yeah. mounted. Not mounted, just stuffed. Well, then where would they put your body? I don't know, like the dog park or something. <laughs> so you'd like to spend the remainder of eternity getting scratched, pissed on, sniffed, and pooed on by dogs. Yeah, just until I die. You'd be dead. Yeah, there you go. But you'd be stuck in that body. Well, in, in, in a different way than most people are stuck in their bodies after they're dead. No, your spirit would remain in your body. It'd still be conscious. It just would have no control. That's that's getting very philosophical right here. I'm not sure I can, I can agree with this. It's been like that since the start. Yeah, this is like metaphysical shit right now. If you were cremated, at least you wouldn't be conscious anymore. Hey, who's to say that after a dog pisses on me, I wouldn't lose consciousness? That's a pretty traumatic experience. No, because you'd already be dead. And stuffed. Now I feel like this is some, uh, some If you bullshit. were cremated, you would just be ash, and then you could have it thrown to the wind. And then, even if you were still conscious, your consciousness would be spread throughout the world like some kind of hippie. You'd be at one with everything. This is getting really, really deep right now for Tori Bash. Tori Bash is a pretty deep game, man. Yeah, like the time that I slammed my uh, my ass into your face. I feel like that was a metaphor for the U.S. Uh, trade embargo with Cuba. Or like that one time when we were doing that map and I was some kind of weird midget and you were some kind of dominatrix and you like slammed me into a table. America's relationship with China right there. <laughs> Which one's the dominatrix? Which one do you think? Can I, can I have a clue? No, what the fuck is this? Who wants to be a millionaire? I thought you, it was Cluedo. You don't have a life, you don't have a fucking lifeline here, dude. I thought it was Cluedo. You can't, you can't phone a fucking friend here. Can I find, can I, can I find a friend? No, you can, you can poll the audience, though. <laughs> what audience? There's no audience. Ask, and they'll answer in the comment section. That's too late to be helping me. In a fight between a dominatrix and a midget, which one is the United States and which one is China? People, leave your answers at home. I really uh, hope someone responds to that. I really hope some quiz show comes up with that one day, like as a question. If I get pulled really, off really, the air for that shit. It's a really interesting question. Though. Not if it was oh, God. in Germany, I feel. In Ge <laughs> Specifically Germany. Yeah, I don't think Germany's uh, big on censorship when it comes to sex and bad language. It's mainly just violence, right? Yeah, but like... I know in the Netherlands they don't mind sex so there's much. There's not much so. about like... But there's not much sex involved in that question, though. Dominatrix is related to sex. And China's a pretty perverted country, so... And then you got, you know, the whole midget. Like, there's a lot of sexual allegories in there. Dude, like, all midgets are like, just like... When I see a midget, I'm like, holy shit, dude, I can't wait to fuck that thing right now. Like, I can't help no, but think but... about all the sexual situations that I could involve myself in with that midget. But midget? What are you talking about? Like, the only... Situation where midgets exist are in sexual situations. Or, they're like, right, like amputees, right? What? Why are you bring amputees into? Well, you this? never see I amputees mean, outside of porn. 
No, but I don't. Exactly. It's not really. It's not really relevant though. No, I'm not talking like about midgets. I'm just talking about midgets. Why it's do you have to bring amputees? Here, it's one and the same. Midgets and amputees are both not real. They only exist in porn. Their creation yeah, that's of the my porn industry point. by Ron Jeremy and his and his friend. What, what's her face? Jenna Jameson. Yeah, the really old blonde chick that no one likes. Like I. You got a bit you... of a monkey on your back here, dude. I want to go to rehab. I feel like I feel kind of trapped beneath your pit. Yeah, suck it. Your Brad Pitt. I feel like this little situation right here is a debate for the uh, war. Is a is an allegory for the debate for uh, gun control in the United States currently. <laughs> if you think about it, it's actually quite deep. What's a gun? It's um, like you 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 know you know you know bows and arrows, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like that. Crossbows. Yeah, it's like that, except except the bow, the arrow is like really small, and it explodes. Really? And I broke in half because apparently your shoulder was just too much for me. Well, to be fair, I lost my head. You went and lost your head. I, f I should ask. <sighs> Shit. Never mind. Oh, there you go. I feel like I won that mod quite convincingly. Hmm. Because I am just so much better than you at mm. games. Hmm. How do you feel? Hmm. Do me a favor, okay? Yeah. Before before you end it. Hold shift and S without moving the camera. Okay. Just check out that view. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> what? It's the perfect view. You're like 10. <laughs> it's a bad. Die, that was sad now. In her honor, I feel as though. Fuck you! I feel as though in her honor. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Jesus,